we've got here is this is an IBR out of a uh, 2000, what is it, a 2021 GTI um, 170. And what I want to do is I want to remove these. Those are 10 mil, and I just want to get them off here so I can flip this thing over without worrying about breaking that tab, that mounting tab off. Because the way this was mounted, mm, excuse me, the way this was mounted in my ski, that's all I've got is that it just sits in there based on that. I don't know if that's right or not. Seems like it should have more, but maybe it doesn't. I need to ask a friend of mine who works on c for a living. If that's the way it goes, I'm gonna send him a text here in a minute. Brap, shout out to Brap up in Canada. Next, we're gonna take this hose off. I probably don't have to, but I'm just, to make it easier to work on. Just break that loose a little bit. Comes right off. All right, now this is the module side. I'm not worried about that. I want to get in here and look at the guts. And we need a T25 to get rid of all these screws. So the problems that I'm having, I'm not throwing any coats. I'm expecting to see a stripped gear in here. So occasionally my ski will go in reverse all by itself. Actually happening every day in the water, about 36 miles an hour. I don't know how many kilopascal take the edges that is everybody else, but 56. We did it pretty good. Everybody's okay though. Alright. So I got all those. What's it take to pop this R apart? They're gonna have to wedge. I don't like wedging. Do I have to take these off too? I wouldn't think so. You would think this is probably RTV'd up, I would imagine. Yeah, it's got RTV right there. So I probably just got to break the seal somewhere. That's what it sounds like. It should never be watertight again. I wish it had just like one obvious pry point, but it doesn't. All right, so I'm sure you guys probably don't want to watch me continue to try and break this. Maybe. All right, so I'm still at it. And uh, all I'm doing is I'm using this body panel tool, automobile body panel tool. And I've kind of used, I kind of took that razor blade and I've just been kind of going around. There's a, there's a lip in there from what I understand, <clears throat> kind of a male piece that fits down in a female recess. And so I don't, I don't want to mess that up, but I was going to show you, so which side was it on? Maybe this side. I've started making a little headway. Yeah, here we go. So you can see I'm starting to get that half split right here. And what you can see is once you start getting it, I'm just wedging this in there, just going nice and easy and hitting that. RTV or whatever they've got this thing held together with and it's getting there it's not quite open so the name of the game here is patience which is crazy because that's not something I typically employ but <clears throat> I'm going nice and easy taking my time Ooh, trying to throw it in the floor and when I get to where I can see some of the silicone or whatever, the adhesive, I'm just peeling it out of there. And eventually, this thing's going to come open. 
eventually. So that's where we're at with it right now. We'll get there. So you can kind of see right there. Up in here you can see the silicone. And once you get that tool in there, it starts breaking away. I think the hardest part, there's uh, so this piece right here kind of clamshells around. That's going to be interesting because I'm not going to be able to wedge in there, I don't think. All right, so I'm, I'm, I'm to the point where I, there it is. All right, so there we are. We are inside, and I really don't know. I was hoping to see this on mine would be broken because then I would understand what the problem was. But that's not broken on mine. What I'm hap the problem I'm getting is let's see. I don't want to But what mine is doing is it is um it's like there's slop in there. So it was just moving freehand, basically. But yeah, so there you go. That's how you get into a uh, Sea-Doo. This is, I've already said it, 2021 GTI. That's how you get into one. Now i got to figure out what's wrong with it. I was hoping, man, that's really a bummer. I haven't checked all the teeth, though. I'd love to be missing some teeth or something so that I could at least see what the problem was. Yeah, so there you go. Best of luck.